Eddie Knobloch told me that America is to many the land of promise, to many more the land of promises. To me, it's a rich man surrounded by sycophants and adventurers from all parts of the globe, ready to fill their pockets. To go unaccredited to America is to place oneself in the above category and to be treated accordingly. But to go accredited is to find the most hospitable, generous and simple-minded people that I have lived amongst. An artist friend who had just returned from New York, where he had painted half a dozen portraits, recommended to me a nice, quiet, comfortable hotel, not at all expensive. The last qualification appealed to me as we were a party of five. Hazel, Alice, a maid, a valet, who was also chauffeur secretary, and myself. So I was pleased to find that I could have a suite on the first floor for $30 a day. On our arrival, an old American friend of mine was waiting for us. He was very cordial and taking me aside said, My dear fellow, you can't stay here. You can't afford to. I was a little nettled. Oh, I don't think that it's so expensive. No, that's not what I mean. The Prince of Wales couldn't risk it. No, you must go to the Ritz, because he's joined up with the Irish, and I believe has enough political power to overthrow a government. Cardinal Hayes told me that, when he returned from Rome, bearing the hat, one of the most enthusiastic receptions he received was from the Chief Rabbi of New York. It was a new sensation for me to hear a cardinal speak with a strong American accent. Irish or Italian had been my experience up until then. And speaking of Irish immigrants, he said, we are more sympathetic to them than to any other nationality. Recently, a poor Irish girl had been sent to Ellis Island as an undesirable alien. She asked why and was told she was anemic and unfit for work. She replied, well now, if you had nothing on your stomach for three weeks but your two cold hands, you would be anemic. She was admitted. When I was painting The Cardinal, Malvina Hoffman very kindly lent me her studio. I heard that Mrs. Havemeyer had a Spanish garden by El Greco. So, as I was anxious to get some hints from the Spanish master, I got permission to see the picture. Mrs. Havemeyer was ill and deputed her housekeeper to show me around. When she found I was an Irish Catholic and painting Cardinal Hayes, she nearly wept on my shoulder. I told her the El Greco I sought was an early portrait of a cardinal with a beard. And what would a Catholic cardinal be doing in this house? Surely it's a Protestant cardinal, said the housekeeper. Oh no, the Protestant church goes the length of an archbishop and stops there. This is not only a Catholic cardinal, but he belongs to a country whose king is his most Catholic majesty. She crossed herself. God forgive me, I thought it was John Knox. I was struck on my last visit by the cordiality and friendliness of the people in every station of life, especially out west. In some of the restaurants and hotels there's a notice, gratuities are forbidden. This gave me great pleasure and a feeling of equality shared by the servants. It's hard to think of anything more degrading than tipping for all concerned. It's unfair to those of limited means that this system of bribery should be tolerated. Here at home, I am often asked such questions as, What do you think of America? Did it make your blood boil to see how they robbed us of our art treasures? I saw the art treasures all right, and beautifully cared for, but I didn't think of the robbery as such, knowing the large sums that were paid for them. There are various ways of acquiring art treasures, and the thought of the Elgin marbles comes to me. During the four or five winters I spent in the States, I'm ashamed to say that except in Pittsburgh, I never had the opportunity of visiting any of the annual exhibitions of contemporary art, and am therefore not in the position to express an opinion, although I saw an outdoor exhibition of modern sculpture last year, some of considerable merit which made me still more regret that 
lack of time forbade my seeing the modern galleries.